Avast ye land lovers! Today we bring ye booty from the Bahamas! <laughs> So that was hokey. Love it. That's what we do here at Till Beer to Us Part. By the way, welcome back to Till Beer to Us Part. We review all things craft beer on this channel. So if you're new, consider subscribing, especially because we have a giveaway going on. Details in the description box below, but it's really important that you subscribe. We won't do the giveaway until we get to 500 subs. And I think we're pretty close by the time we're doing this video. Of course, if you're there. watching this in we're the future, there. maybe we already have like 5 million subs. Probably. Also, ring the bell so that way you know when we have new videos. Ring a ding ding! Taking your line. Well, if you didn't get the gist, we're doing Pirate Republics. Well, two different beers, actually. Two different beers from Pirate Republic out of Nassau in the Bahamas. Uh, this was sent to us by our friend Matt if you watched our unboxing, our most recent unboxing. Did not know the Bahamas had craft beer, but. I shouldn't be surprised at this point. Not Every, surprised, but. Everybody's got craft beer. So we've got two beers. So the first one we have here is Long John Pilsner. That was that one's clever. It is a obviously a Pilsner at four and a half percent and twenty IBUs. And Dan's got Island Pirate Ale, a IPA. Their flagship IPA brew with caramel, wheat, and aromatic malts, hopped with Cascade Columbus and seven mm, C. Mm, that doesn't mean much to me. And that one is five point two percent and fifty IBUs. So right in the middle. We're just gonna kind of do a brief overview, not a full review of these beers. Devin. He's not Devin. I think his name's Devin. He's Philip. No, Devin. He's definitely a Devin. We're just not doing full reviews. We when are you to. ever gonna have a beer from the Bahamas? We feel like we gotta jam as much into one episode as we can. So let's just get right into it. Sprinkled with pirate references. Yarr! Her. It smells like an IPA. Mine smells like a Pilsner. Oh, by the way, okay, so the Pilsner is in the Bissell Bros. In the Bissell Bros. Glash. Maybe. Mine's and, in the beaver glass. And the yours is in the little beaver glass. That's how you'll know which one we're talking about in case we switch. Indeed. We will. Um, Indeed. So if you you may have seen on Twitter in the last couple of days, uh, if you're watching this the day it came out, that I had already posted the Golden Whip uh, on Twitter and kind of give my review of that. That one held up really well. And the person who sent us that sent this to us was like, well, you have to try the rest of them very quickly now. And I said, I think the Whip would have held up pretty well on the Trans-Caribbean flight. Uh, but the IPA was going to be that test on whether or not this actually held up and whether this was actually relatively fresh. I wasn't too worried about Belgians. I see we drink up me hearties. We didn't even talk about the smells. We, I don't, we, we're not doing a full right. review. All right, fine. Drink up me hearties. Oh. Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. Okay, I will, I've will. i said this about multiple breweries and I'm going to say it again about this one. If they can do a Pilsner, they can do anything. If they can do a Pilsner well. Yeah, if they can do a good Pilsner, they can do anything. I think this is a fairly good Pilsner. Is it my favorite Pilsner? No. But it's clean, it's crisp, and I don't taste any off flavors. Sharing brews and sea yarns with shipmates. Oh, sea yarns. Okay. Recycle or else. <laughs> oh, or else she walked the gangplank. Um, we discovered on Spotify, this is something you should check out. There is an album called Now That's What I Call Sea Shanties. It will change your life. Exquisite, that, put that on your to-do list. Exquisite piece of history. So tell us about this IPA, because I started talking about the Pilsner and uh, you haven't shared well, anything, and I would like to try that I wouldn't, IPA. I would, I'm a little surprised. This is very close to what I would consider a traditional West Coast IPA, and considering that the Bahamas is pretty far east in comparison to the rest of the continental yeah. US, I'm a little surprised. Um, it's just, very run of the mill. It's got good hop character. It's pretty bitter finish. And that's all I've got to say about that. It sounded very Forrest Gump. That's not on theme. How would you do a, a piratey version of Forrest Gump? Life is like a chest of booty. You never know how many doubloons you're gonna get. Oh yeah, okay. I see what you say about the, the IPA. Very run of the mill, very typical West Coast. I'm guessing in the Bahamas, there's not a huge draw yeah a huge draw for craft beer i think it's probably something pretty well, new pretty basic so i said see 2012 this for this one I, I think they cater a lot to tourists of, of course and US uh, tourists. and you know the bahamas if anything if they're going to do craft anything it's probably more likely that it's going to be on the rum side just because of the climate i mean getting hops in that kind of climate growing their own is probably not feasible they're probably importing them anyway so you're right it is it's very clean it's very basic I, there's nothing there's nothing wrong with either of these beers they they execute very well, but they're not uh, 
They're not trying. They're not trying to like break out of the mold. I think. I don't think they're really gonna do like a bunch of juice bombs and super adjunct stouts. Maybe a rum barrel aged stout. I wonder if they have one of those. That's I just think they could do rum barrel research. aged with a lot of different things and be pretty successful. But you know, like I said, they probably have a certain audience that they're catering to, and they're doing very well for that. What else do ye have to say about the beers? I don't know. We're not gonna do traditional ratings on this. I don't no, think. No, so. no ratings. Just like letting you know that. Craft beer exists in the Bahamas, and we wanted to do some piratey shit. Um, yeah, and speaking of that last can, we have one tall boy left of another different style IPA. It's a different IPA. I don't think it's a hazy one. But, but just yes. because we're trying to work on our Patreon page this year, that will be a Patreon exclusive. If you want to find out more about that last Bahamian beer from Pirate Republic, make sure you go check out check us out on Patreon. Otherwise, we're going to have to plunder ye. Purr. Her. With that sword, let's sword fight real quick. Just a real quick sword fight. Really, really quick here. Okay. No, what's the question of the day? What is the name of our parrot? Because I think it's Devin. I thought it was a Philip, but if you think there's a better name out there for a parrot, for a pirate. And I think it's a girl, Devin. All right, guys, that was our review-ish of Pirate Republic from Nassau in the Bahamas. For lager, for porter, and bottles are on draft. We're your favorite landlubbers for all things beer. And if you ask us to do anything, we'll just tell you we don't do anything. And I've never owned a parrot. We do. And I've never, never been the boss in an off ball. And I've never seen a ball. And I've never painted daisies on a big red rubber ball. And I've never bathed in yogurt. And I don't look good in leggings. Except I do. Never been to Boston in the fall.